Hey naturalistas! So the other day when I was posting, somebody had told me I can't read the ingredients, I can't pronounce the ingredients on the label, so I'm not going to use that product. I was like, in my head, I was like, are you dumb? Like, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Like, are you dumb? <laughs> there are much more logical ways to go about doing these things. Like, yes, I understand the day and age that we're in right now where any company could put anything in your in your products and apparently can't be held accountable for it and we as consumers now need to know what the harmful ingredients are so that we need to protect protect ourselves bs but anyway i did my research because i was very concerned about you know the ingredients that i'm putting in my hair so i looked up uh, an entire list of harmful ingredients to avoid in your natural hair product. Big credit to Natural Hair Club. Um, this is where I got the information from. First up, we have benzene. This can damage the respiratory system, irritate the skin, and cause developmental damage in fetuses. Wow. Wow. Then we have diethanolamine, DEA and triethanolamine tea by the way just like sorry in advance for my pronunciations of these things because could you really do better no i did not think so so bear with me <laughs> right both dea and tea stabilize the ph of hair products and are common allergens and eye irritants formaldehyde this is a preservative and it's extremely irritating to the skin and eyes. It is a known on animal carcinogen and may increase cancer risk for humans as well. Keep in mind that certain preservatives release formaldehyde. So by extension, also look out for diazolidinyl urea, DMDM hydantoin. Glyoxal, imidazolidinyl urea, <laughs> quaternium 15, sodium hydroxymethylglycinate. Mm, boom, got that one. <laughs> Fragrance is a catch all ingredient. If the manufacturer put this on the bottle, it means that they don't want to tell you what else is in the product. And fragrance is often a term used to hide phthalates as an ingredient. Isopropyl alcohol. This does its job of stripping away oils from your scalp a little too well, leaving your hair dry and brittle. Ethanol alcohol, ethyl alcohol, Isopropanol alcohol, propyl alcohol, and SD alcohol are also known to do this. Methylisothiazolinone. This is a common preservative in hair products linked to lung toxicity, allergic reactions, and possible neurotoxicity. Mineral oil and petroleum. These are petroleum products that coat your hair and scalp so effectively they suffocate them. These ingredients can cause acne, hindered skin respiration, imbalanced oil levels in your scalp, and skin irritation. Parabens. These are xenoestrogens included in shampoos as a preservative. They can disrupt hormones and even pose a cancer risk. You'll see them labeled on hair products as propyl paraben, benzyl paraben. Once it has paraben at the end, it's bad. Phthalates. These were banned from use in toy manufacturing in California 2009 because of links between them and cancer. However, they are still often used in hair products. Hmm. Polyethylene glycol. This dissolves oil and is commonly used in oven cleaners. What? You do not want this on your hair or skin. Jeez, 
it strips away moisture and nutrients and is also a possible possible carcinogen retinol is very common in skin and beauty products but has potential associations with developmental and reproductive toxicity i don't know what i was so hard for me to say while it is usually safe to use it might not be safe to use during pregnancy retinol palmitate this is considered a gentler version of retinol but it is often added to personal care products in greater concentrations than retinol in order to be effective. It still has potential associations with developmental and reproductive toxicity and has been found to enhance photocarcinogenicity, heightening the risk of cancer when exposed to UV rays. Sulfates. These strip oil and dirt out of your hair so well they deplete the natural sebum that moisturizes your hair. While sulfates can be beneficial for hair that gets oily quickly or has looser curls, they usually are no-no for naturally curly hair. Common sulfates include sodium lauryl sulfate, sodium laureth sulfate, ammonium laurel sulfate, etc. Once it has sulfate in your name, it's pretty bad. Synthetic colors such as DNC Red 27 or FDNC Blue 1, these are derived from petroleum or coal sources. These synthetic colors are suspected to be carcinogenic, skin irritants, and linked to ADHD in children. The European Union has banned the use of these ingredients, which is a big red flag. Toluen. This is a solvent that can dissolve paint and paint thinner. But it is also used in some hair color or bleaching products. The frick? This chemical can affect the respiratory system, irritate the skin, and even cause developmental damage in the fetus if expecting mothers are exposed to it. Commonly labeled as benzene, tulul, phenylmethane, or methyl benzene. Triclosan is a common antimicrobial chemical used in personal care products, but it is also a known endocrine dis disruptor and skin irritant. Jeez, and freaking ages, it's like you can't even live anymore. So I was very concerned about this list and I checked several of my hair products against it. So the first uh, product I looked at was Aunt Jackie's Curl Boss and thank god this does not have any um, harmful ingredients according to the list that I have. Um, then I checked my entire line of suave uh, natural hair products and what I noticed in reading the products um, ingredient list itself is that most of these products in the line actually share a lot of uh, similar ingredients and thank god the only ingredient that was harmful was fragrance and I don't think that they're trying to smuggle any bad ingredients there um, what I was surprised by though was blue magic uh, this has petroleum products in it as well as mineral oil so I don't think I'll be using this anytime soon so naturally says have you checked the ingredients on your hair products to see what you're actually putting in your hair make sure and check it out and let me know what you find in the comments below you know i always love to hear from you naturally says but please be safe out here especially in this kind of industry anyway if you like this video give me a thumbs up remember to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you naturally says next week <laughs> later